Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I wanted to talk about a couple different ways of inputting text on the Max Looming device and basically the, the Onyx Books devices here. Now we're all familiar or should be familiar with being able to come into say a note or a PDF and then you can actually write on that particular document. So most people have bought these e-paper type devices to write on with the stylus. Um, the, the other reasons, of course, is to, to read e-books and PDFs and stuff without, you know, the, you know, staring, having light blasting into your eyes and causing issues with either sleep or your, your eyesight. But on these particular Max Lumi devices, I found that the the main apps that take real good advantage of hand the handwriting are the actual uh, default apps that comes with the device, to, like the the Notes app, the the PDF reader, so on and so forth. But if you go into an application like OneNote, OneNote is really laggy when you're writing with the stylus. So if you still want to write with the stylus, there is an alternative for you to be able to do that in OneNote and potentially any other app that you want to use your stylus to write with. And basically how you get around this is you can go into, let's say we, we're in OneNote right now. If we come in here and we do draw, let's turn draw on here. And we will, let's move, see if we can move this note up a bit there. And we can draw on this, but again, it's really laggy to, as you're doing this here. So if we want to stop this particular draw app, what we want to do is change this so that we bring up the keyboard. And on the keyboard, you'll see this little icon here with a pen on it. So if we tap on that, we get a, a handwriting to text uh, recognition box here. So you can you can actually write in this box and it will translate what you're writing um, into the application itself. So it's not true handwriting within OneNote, but if you use OneNote and you want to still have some kind of handwriting as you're using the device, this is one way to get around with around it. So we can go ahead and test this. So we can see it works there and you can keep going. You have controls here on the side here where you can go to the next line if you need to. You can drop a period in, you can go back if you make any mistakes. Another way here you can use on this keyboard if you want to input uh, text into this particular document. And you can do this with any app pretty much because you're using the keyboard to do all this. The keyboard is doing all the work, not the application itself. So if we tap on the microphone here, we can take everything that I'm saying and it will translate it into text into the application that we're in that we're logged into we can stop the the recognition there and if we need to follow up with some kind of punctuation there are the keys here at the top here so it's very well laid out for you to use either voice to text or even the writing the text and it still has some buttons there where you can do some kind of uh, corrections or finish up the, the recognition after it's done. Now this was just a quick and dirty hack that you can use again to input text into any app that you have on the Maxumi device that may not support pen input or maybe it's just that you want to use your voice to input text into these particular applications and not use the stylus or the keyboard. Well, I hope that those tips were helpful in using the device a little bit 
uh, differently than you might use it now. Or maybe you've just rolled off using OneNote or certain other applications because you could not use your stylus directly in that app. This is just another way that you can work around some of those limitations in these other apps that you might have. All right, so my name is Anton. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.